Anna, you will never believe what happened to me yesterday. I was on a date with Fred. Yeah, the guy I told you about. No, no, not that one. Fred, the football player from Queens. <laughs> Him. He finally took me out last night and I was so nervous. I mean, this guy is hot. I was a complete airhead over the whole thing. You know, what should I wear? How much makeup should I apply to my face? Should I wear a push-up bra or stuff the bra? You know, issues. Anyway, we went out and the worst thing in the world happened to me. No, I didn't run into any ex-boyfriends. No, I didn't say something stupid. No, I didn't even do something clumsy. Worse, much worse. Like you'll never guess. I shit my pants. Yeah, I know, I know. I was so nervous that when he came to pick me up, I felt bloated. And I was so busy getting ready all day that I didn't have time to eat. So all I had in me was air. Oh my gosh. I shit my drawers, Anna. We were taking a, a nice stroll through, through the park and I had to let out a little bit of gas. I was holding back a fart for hours, so. I thought it would give me some relief to, you know, just let out a little poof. But it wasn't no poof, Anna. No. It was more like a <laughs> And then there's that moment, you know, that moment when you, you know something doesn't feel right and you're not sure if it's true. You know, you're not sure if you really shit yourself or not. And, and I'm dying on the inside. And I, I just kept praying to God. I was like, did I just shout? Did I really just shout myself? <laughs> Yeah, I certainly did, Anna. I shied all inside my undies. And I was wearing the hottest thong in the world, but you know thongs. Obviously, it's not a shitting on kind of fabric. So there I am, walking with the hottest football player from Queens, clenching my butt cheeks until they were turning blue so poop wouldn't drip down my leg. <laughs> it's had to be the worst experience of my life. What did I do? I started acting. Yeah, I never knew I had it in me. I started freaking out. I acted like I was petrified of squirrels. Yeah, yeah, I know, I must have sounded like a demented fool, but it's the only thing I could think of. I started dancing and flapping my arms around and claiming to be afraid of squirrels. Yeah, I made up this whole story. Told him how I was attacked by squirrels as a child while playing in the woods and that I had a phobia. Yeah. <laughs> he believed me. And you know what he did? You'll never believe this, Anna. He he picks me up from the ground and he tells me he wanted to be my hero and, and that he would protect me and, and then we locked eyes and it wasn't because we were in a passionate trance. We locked eyes because we both smelt shit. Yeah. And he said to me, oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. You made a poopy. And I just about giving up on life right there at that moment in time. I said, you know what? Screw it. I looked at him and I said, listen, Fred, I cracked my pants, okay? I cracked my freaking pants because of the damn squirrels. That was that. That was my date with the hottest football player from Queens. I mean, he did call me, yeah, but it was more, more of a courtesy call than a, I want to see you again call. <laughs> I could hear his friends in the background making fart noises. What more can I possibly say? Next time I go out with a hot guy, I'm going to eat like a slob beforehand. Lesson learned. <laughs>